as a monastic contemplative community, the work that we would choose to do is, is work that is geared towards nurturing that contemplative spirit within us. I'm 71 years here and I walked in the altar beds for years. And I'm really grateful to God to have the privilege of walking there because uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful um, place to walk. But the mystery of it all, that each little communion bread is going to be, uh, when it's consecrated, it becomes the body and blood of our Lord. What we would choose to do would be work that will help us to, to live in silence and in recollection. So for example, we have, you've seen the making of the altar breads. It's a work that's done in silence and in prayer. We have candle making, icon painting, some of the sisters will do knitting and craft work. I'm working just now on an icon of the women disciples of Jesus. And in the Eastern Church, this icon, or these women, collectively would be called the myrrh bearers, because they are the women who brought the myrrh to anoint the body of Jesus for burial. What's really interesting about an icon is that the icon is brought from darkness into light. So the light is added gradually. All the highlights on the clothing is added gradually. And the faces are, are the last thing that's done. And because as you gradually build up, they gradually begin to reveal the mystery that's depicted in the icon. You have to remember, it's a prayerful walk as well. And as Mother Teresa said, I pray my walk. It's not a walk, it's prayer, but I pray my walk. It is our charism. It is our mission in, in this church to be that living presence, full of life and vitality of Jesus himself, reaching out to everybody, pouring out that tremendous love for them and holding them in their brokenness and their sorrows and trials, sharing in their joys and triumphs as well. We live in a wonderful, beautiful world. The core of our life is prayer, to reach out to the world in prayer, our intercessory prayer, to carry the needs of the world, the pain and sufferings of all the world, especially this time with pandemic, and also the joys of the world, that we rejoice in the joys and also carry the sorrows. And to me, my little thing is, my simple thing is that when people ask me to pray, I place them in my heart in prayer, I give it to Jesus, and I bring my heart in prayer to Jesus. You know, people write to us from all over the world looking for prayer and, and their faith in asking even for prayer is a, is a prayer in itself. I love to sing, I love to praise God in song and as St Augustine says singing is praying twice but to me it's using your whole being to praise and worship him. And I love to sing, especially at Mass, the psalm, because it's the Word of God. And to proclaim that Word of God in a joyful way is, is a wonderful privilege to do. And I feel um, it's not just singing, it's praying it and reaching the people that are listening to it. And living in here, we share, like, I, I work in the garden sometimes, I work around the house and in various places. In, in the monastery I work and it's sharing in the work of all creation and all people who work in our world.